We're here today at Hogel Zoo, the new Hogel Zoo, with Erica Hansen, our personal tour guide. She's gonna show us around this amazing place. We're part of AZA, which is the Association of Zoos and Aquariums. Mm -hmm. And through them, we have what's called the Species Survival Plan. So a lot of what zoos are about now is helping to keep species alive because they're dwindling in the wild like crazy. You know, zoos used to try to show as many animals as possible and it didn't matter the homes that they offered. And we've learned a lot about animals over the, you know, hundreds of years that zoos have been around. And so now the goal, we ha you know, sometimes you make difficult choices. You can't show every animal. Sure. But the homes are bigger and better and much more natural and we know so much more now about health care for animals and it's not a bad life. It's really not a bad yeah, life. They're kids. adored by the public and their keepers. They get their meals. For They're sure. not being hunted. It's mm -hmm. pretty decent. We are in the Asian Highlands portion of the zoo. So this is uh, built to kind of mimic a Himalayan village. Yeah. And this is where all the Siberian big cats are. And if you've never been to the zoo in the winter, it's the best time to come up and see these big cats because they have their big thick winter coat. They're up and active, they're vocalizing, and you have the zoo all to yourself because people forget that we're open year round. Rocky Shores just opened in 2012, which has been a huge addition to the zoo. It was a record-breaking year for us. Rocky Shores is home to our grizzly bears, our polar bear, seals and sea lions, river otters and bald eagles. But they're just some of my favorite animals to come visit. We have three seals and two sea lions in here. Our harbor seals, and they've been a lot of fun. This has been a great exhibit. Kids love to see underneath. We have four gorillas. We have two male silverbacks. Tino's much older. Husani here is younger, and then we have two girls as well. So you'll usually Tino will hang out with the girls, and Husani likes to be out here on his own. Eli is one of our superstars as well because he's uh, he's our Super Bowl predictor. Really? So for seven out of seven years, Eli has correctly chosen predicted the winner of the Super Bowl. Seven for seven. He's seven out of seven. He was in Sports Illustrated. He was on MSN. Yeah, he was. He's a big deal. This was one of our first major improvements at the zoo as well. This is our elephant encounter. Um, and it's been just a huge addition. And elephants are always some of the superstars at the zoo. So we're looking at Dari here. Dari is the oldest African elephant in North America. She just turned 54 this year. Wow. Now, of course, elephants in zoos can live a little bit longer than elephants in the wild because they have amazing health care. So we have two male lions and two female lions. Eventually, we'll be able to show the full pride together. Uh -huh. Right now, the girls are still, still about a year younger than the boys, so we want to give them some time to thicken up and mature a little bit before we put them in with the boys. And then we'd love some lion cubs someday. We're really thrilled with this exhibit. Um, the floor to ceiling windows really help you get nose to nose. It's really a fantastic place to come see the lions. And the way they have the glass position, people have been getting amazing pictures. For a lot of our members, memberships are awesome yeah. because we do sunrise and sunset safaris, meaning you can come to the zoo before we open, mm -hmm. members only, or stay after we close, members only. And the zoo's so much quieter and cooler. And the animals are a little more active at that time as well. Dang. Look at the feet. Look oh at the size boy. of those feet. That's Can you a imagine? Right it's there. a really big cat. I like to see the polar bears. A lion. A lion? The polar bear was fun. Polar bear? Well, the grizzly bears and the lions. It's just a great place to come and spend the day, and the kids can kind of do their own thing while the parents just kind of follow far behind them. trick with coming to the zoo that I think a lot of people don't know. People just kind of charge through, but if you actually stop and watch, and watch the animals and wait for them, you know, they do amazing things. What did the mother buffalo say to her boy when she sent him off to college? What? Bye, son. I love that joke. Anyway, 
Back to the giraffes. Tell us about this place. <laughs> if you haven't been to Hogel Zoo lately, get here. This is not the, the Hogel Zoo you grew up with. This thing is, I would compare it to a th like a major theme park because we it's, think so. it's, it's, it's a classy zoo. Shortly after filming, Eli passed away due to a battle of cancer. He will be missed.